Well, today I want to show you at least what I do to, quote, deck the block to at least get it ready. Uh, you know, make sure any gasket surfaces are off and just make sure it's as flat as possible so that your head gaskets are going to seal and she's cleaned up ready to go. I'm going to use a piece of wood. Now, I know what you're saying. A piece of wood? You know, he's an idiot. Probably so, but I've checked this with all my squares. This is a finished piece of oak, so it's nice, thick, strong, and, and this thing is flat. Trust me, it is flat. So stay tuned. I was going to show you quick how we're going to deck the block on this 318 and finish rebuilding it. Got myself a piece of wood, and it's a finished piece of wood, so... It is straight, it is smooth. I checked it with the square, the long square, and also other pieces of steel I have around. So it is a 100% straight piece of wood. But I got 320 grit sandpaper on this. Now this is um, same paper I use for the auto body. When I was doing the body work on piecemeal over there. And I like it because, number one, it sticks to the board, as you can see. And number two, it dolls off fairly quick on steel. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, what good is it if it dolls down fairly quick? I mean, not super quick in 13 seconds. No, it dolls off quick enough that I'm not going to remove a whole lot of steel here because I removed the head locator dowel pins right here, two on each side, one here, one here, or yeah, here, here, and matching on the other side. Moved dowel pins, and I did check the surface. I did put my square on it and use feeler gauges to see if, the block needs to be decked. It was all right. Um, so all I'm gonna do is with 320 here, and it's it's more just to clean up the block. I'm not clean it up and kind of semi surface it. Um, it'll help the head gasket last longer. And any if there's any real imperfections here, it helps to knock them down, take it out. I do this to the block and I'll do it to the heads as well. So, like I said, nice long piece of wood. Doesn't go over, quite go over the whole thing. Which is all right. I'm sure everybody has their own way of doing this. But as you can see, I'm sure if you saw that, you saw the color change here where it's cleaning off more of the dirt and other pieces of gasket. I did scrape it off that was on this. Any scratches, I said, it just helps get the imperfections. You can see what it takes off. Now I'm going to do this with both sides. I try to stay fairly even. I'm not using a whole lot of pressure either. I'm using extremely light pressure. Just enough to control the board and so extremely light pressure and you don't want to flex the board. I mean obviously if you had a piece of machinist steel, even better, but I like to use two hands, light pressure. I don't know, maybe three pounds of pressure, you know, something very, very light. I said we're not, this isn't a machine shop here, this is a barn. 
But anytime I've done any kind of head gaskets or rebuilds, I've done this with the block. I said you constantly, you know, change directions, and that way you can keep it flat, as flat as possible. So I'm going to finish cleaning this up, catch back with you in a couple minutes. Well, now, as you can see, my shirt's different in two different videos yesterday. I don't know. I didn't have the mic on. I don't know, it didn't record the sound, but we have it finished where I'm happy, I'm content enough with it. I mean, you can see where there were some rust spots, and maybe there, because of failing gasket before, I'm not 100% sure, like right here, here, here. But I didn't want to go too crazy with it. The sheer fact of, even though that is auto body paper, and it does kind of dull off, and doesn't remove a whole lot of steel it still is removing steel so i mean i've checked this out um laid my straight edge across and used feeler gauges to see if one side was a little lower than the other this one actually checked out all right before i went doing this i knew i could get away with this without having to send the block off to the machine shop to get it decked and I did the same thing with the heads over there. As you can see, I did work on the heads. And you can see part of my port and polish job. And let me know if you just want to see what all I did to the heads there. And um, I started a video of that, but I just didn't finish it. Because those are the 302 heads that everybody seems to like for the 318s. Because it would be in closed chamber. But like I said, we didn't we didn't remove too much off of the block or the heads, but it's good enough. And we did it with a piece of wood, which is always great. So now I'm gonna hone out the cylinders. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna clean out where the can bearings go inside the journals here. Just because I see when I removed those, those had a lot of heat in them. So I'm going to clean those up, polish those up. And then I'm going to take it outside, get some soapy water, wash the heads down, the block down, get everything out. Because then it's going to be time to start assembling and putting it back together. So uh, I think that's it for right now. I probably got to clean the paint off of this surface, the top here. I don't know why I did it. I got to clean this one off yet, but I'll actually do that before I take it outside to paint it. That way we can get everything off. And once we clean it off for the final time, we'll use the air hose, blow everything out really, really well. And any machine surfaced, machine surface, which would be the deck, the boards, inside the cam journals in here. For the cam bearings ride, uh, we're going to wipe them down with most likely some WD-40. Make sure she doesn't want to flash rust on us. As always, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. I know it's not perfect. It is not a machine shop. I know it's not a machine shop before anybody comments on it. But a piece of wood with some sandpaper. We'll get you by to help you make the surface so that way you have good luck with your head gaskets. It hasn't failed me yet. Knock on some wood here. So it shouldn't fail you. So as always, get a like, subscribe, share if you want to. It would be cool if you did. And remember, it doesn't cost nothing to hit the old subscribe button. But thanks for watching. I'm going to catch you again on the next one.